So the best choice or the most likely diagnosis is going to be meningioma. So let's look at some of the features that makes meningioma the best choice uh, among other uh, answers in this case. First of all, you can clearly see there's a homogeneous enhancing lesion in the spinal canal. Then your first task, task is to decide, is it intradural or extradural? If it's intradural, is it extramedullary or intramedullary? In this case, you can see the lesion clearly is inside the fecal sac, so intradural, but it's outside of the spinal cord. You can see that the mass is on one side, the spinal cord has been pushed to the other side, and in this case, you can see the spinal cord is severely compressed. So it's an intradural extramedullary lesion. For the differential diagnosis of that, intradural extramedullary neoplasm, the top two is going to be meningioma versus nerve sheath tumor. So either schwannoma versus neofibroma. But what makes meningioma a better choice in this case uh, compared to say schwannoma? You can also see there's a dural tail. So if you take this lesion, homogeneous enhancing lesion with a dural tail and put that in the brain, that look exactly like what you expect to see with meningioma. And certainly dural tail is not pathognomonic just for meningioma, but certainly it makes a better choice in this case over schwannoma. So what about other uh, choices that do not work as well? For example, schwannoma. On board exam, there are some features that would make me pick schwannoma or neofibroma over meningioma. On T2 weighted sequence, schwannoma or neofibroma tend to be uh, relatively bright compared to meningioma. And also if I see cystic degeneration, uh, that tend to occur with schwannoma as opposed to meningioma. And lastly, if I see a classic dumbbell shape, uh, there's an intraspinal uh, component with expansion of the neural foramen and expansion into the extra foramen zone, this dumbbell shape. And that's really good for schwannoma and not so good for meningioma. For choice C and D, Hopefully, you can eliminate them based on their location. As you know, ependymoma or astrocytoma are intramedullary lesion, so it doesn't fit in this case. So for choice E metastasis, and certainly I cannot look at this and say this absolutely cannot be metastasis. There's always a possibility. But as far as the board exam is concerned, and also for real life, this is not a most typical appearance for metastasis in that solitary lesion without other involve, involvement for dropment is a little bit unusual and typically i would expect to see other signs of leptomeningeal disease such as such as sugar coating around the PO surface so i would not pick metastasis over uh, a or b in this scenario again if you have any questions please let me know good luck on your exam thank you